Welcome to Darling Games. We are going to play Animal Crossing and we are on day five of our new island, Daisy. So let's talk to Tom Nook. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 2 p.m. this Wednesday, October 5th. Now for today's news. Daisy gained a new neighbor today, Pinky. Oh yay, we get Pinky. I'm sure she'll be very busy unpacking today, so consider checking in on her. That's all for me. Time for you all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. So it's time to do our dailies. Let's check our mailbox. What is in our mailbox? We have a fire flower. I forgot I ordered that. Another large mushroom. We can never have too many of those. And some small mushrooms. And we've got our first music, but I don't think we have a music player. Do we have a music player? Do you guys remember? Do not remember if we got a music player. So let's go ahead and pull some of this out. These I think we're going to put outside. So we'll go outside and put this stuff, but the music, I'm thinking we'll probably just put it in our storage. Hmm. I'm kind of feeling like we had a music player over on the other side of the island. Let's just go over there and look because I feel like, oh, look who's here. It's red. Well, well, you from around here? Hi, my name's Red. I work in sales and you are Darling. What a great name. Intelligent, strong. I can already tell you're going to be pals. No, not pals, family. Darling, it's a pleasure to meet you, darling. Hey, would you mind if I ran an idea by you? So Daisy wants art and I got art to sell. Might be something like this, but I couldn't sell to just anybody. I need someone I could trust completely as if they were family. And since we're basically cousins, and because I know you've got an eye for quality, I want it to be you. Want to look at a few things? I've got both art and furniture. Plus you'd get my cousin's discount. You in? Huh, seems kind of sketchy to me. I'm hurt. There's nothing sketchy about this. I can prove it. I've got my boat anchored off the northern shore, and I'm almost done fixing all the leak. Uh, long story. Come, have a look at what I'm selling. You won't regret it. Hmm, well let's go see if I actually have a music player, because I was thinking over on this side of the island that I had a music player. Yes, I do. See, I remembered. I remembered correctly. So let's put this music in there. KK house. Nice. While we're over here, let's go ahead and grab this. And I want to eventually move my house up here, but I can't yet because they won't let me move anything yet. We do need to go villager hunting because we have one more plot from the last time. Do we have any money to even go buy anything from Red? We do actually have some money. So we could go buy whatever it is that he's selling. But let's catch this fish first because I'm sure we probably need to get. Oh, goodness. Don't you hate it when the fish just like turn around like that? Oh, yep. And as soon as I pull out the fishing pole, then he turns around again. There we go. I got him. What kind of fish is this? We caught a carp. We already have a carp. While we're up here, let's shake our trees. Let's see if there's any money in these trees. Oops, that didn't shake. Okay. Woo, we got something. Let's see what this is. It is a judge's bell, of course, because everybody needs a judge's bell. Who wouldn't? There's some money. Who wouldn't? Didn't need a judge's bell. Let's go back down and take a look at Red. Let's go see what he's selling. On the way back there, we'll go ahead and shake some trees too. That way we get all our trees shook. Because I definitely, especially in the beginning, I know I've said this before, but in the beginning, I really like to make sure that I get everything out of the trees. We're not going to actually complete this yet because I don't want somebody moving in. Not till we find somebody because otherwise they autofill and I do not want to mess with autofilling. Well, we might because we don't have that many Nook Mile tickets. Okay, we got our money tree. Let's put 10 thousand back into it. I love that the money trees give you 30,000 bells for just 10,000. All right, money tree planted. Let's shake the rest of these trees. Nothing there. Get this little grasshopper. Got a long locust. We can sell these and make some money. Did we get any hybrids? Let's go up there and see if we got any hybrids. I'm not sure if we did. Did we even water them yesterday? I don't think we even watered them. So of course we didn't get any hybrids. Cheesy peeps. We got to figure out a way to get over to red because red's in the back and on these new islands, I never have ramps or anything like that. Hopefully I can get to him. Is he back here or is he on the other side? I do not remember. Is it here? Okay, let's look at my map. We're close. Let's go back over here. We'll just run back here and find Mr. Red. There he is. We need to also say hi to Pinky. I forgot about that. Let's find out what Red's selling us. Let's see if it's something that we want. I use the Animal Crossing New Horizons Life app. Let me look on my little trusty app. The famous painting, it says the variations are real. So it looks like there's no non-real one. So let's get this one. Didn't he charge us like $40,000 before? But after the 2.0 update, they 
switch to the 4980 because I feel like you would talk to him and he'd give you a really ridiculous price and then you'd say no and then you'd have to like talk him down but now he just gives you the regular price that's what I feel like used to happen but I could be wrong yeah it's been a pleasure doing business with you too sir does he have anything else we want don't feel like I need well maybe we need a clock you know what let's just get the clock because on the new island you can never have too many things it's a deal we'll take this one all right and let's grab this too because who knows we could use it for something right it's a deal all right I'm a lot of money so let's go let's grab this let's see if there's any more over here we need to shake all these trees over here too so let's grab our trusty net Ooh, we got a pine cone yay I love fall and animal crossing it's like my favorite time you get all these cool things out of the trees I love it love it love it Ooh, let's get this ladybug I don't did we get a ladybug yet I think we must have okay and look you guys we got a hybrid we got a hybrid we got an orange one too I think we have a pink one already if I'm not mistaken oh we have a pink hybrid over there too yay look at us getting all these hybrids on day five. Oh, we can't shake any more trees. Okay, so we need to go get a net because I don't want to get stung. All right, let's head down back to our house. I'm not sure. Oh, do I hear? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Do I hear? I do. Where is it? I hear it. Do you guys hear it? Maybe it's on the other side. There it is. I knew I heard it. All right, let's see what's in here. It might be money because it's yellow. What'd we get? Hopefully we got a new DIY too. We got a garbage bin. Okay. Yeah, we don't really need that but all right let's see what DIY we got a bamboo stool I thought those DIYs only came in the spring I didn't think you'd get those in the fall let's go over here and plant our hybrid oh we got a hybrid over here too you guys look at this we got another hybrid let's plant the orange one okay we got a hybrid over here wonderful so we'll just kind of pull the hybrids out because I find that if I pull the hybrids out they grow a little bit faster did we get any hybrids over here I don't think so, so let's go see if we can find a net because I thought I made extra nets but now the key is finding where they're at on my island let's grab all of these shells all along the beach because they're always good for money what are our nook mile plus are so today we have to earn bells by selling items we need to hit some rocks so we'll do that shortly talk to our neighbors dive for sea creatures and catch some more bugs so let's do that I don't remember where I put my tools I know I made a bunch I thought I made a bunch maybe I didn't maybe I'm imagining it pockets are full of course they are drop it oh you know what I can do let's put some of this stuff down let's do a large mushroom and push it over maybe oh there we go there we go Ooh, look at all the pumpkins we got you guys we got every single color that worked planning all these pumpkins we're gonna have to pick them all but let's find our net first and the orchard is coming along it's finally producing some fruit it'll be a good money maker in no time okay I think I forgot to check my storage so let's go back and check the storage because I feel like that might have been where I put it what is this tool watering can I don't want that I need a net I need a net let's put some stuff away so that we can get some stuff out we've gone going through a lot of changes and I'll tell you what change just seems to be really hard for people I think you know sometimes the change can be like really good changes that are necessary and things that we really need to do and it still is really hard for people to like wrap their brain around making changes sometimes even me you know I have a hard time making changes too but the changes that we're that we're making like in my workplace for instance we're kind of making things a little more streamlined so that anyone can step into the workplace and be able to tell like where things go and and what needs to happen and so the for me, I feel like those are kind of like positive changes, you know, streamlining things, making things a little simpler for everybody. But still, it seems like we have a hard time making even those kind of changes because it's scary. It's really scary. And you know, even I, because I see like all these little things coming of some changes that are supposed to be coming in the future, like possibly buildings moving and people having to move and um, work out of different buildings than what they're working out of. And that's really scary. And I find myself being, you know, just kind of scared of that myself. Okay, I think I didn't make any, any tools. So let's go make some tools. Do I have sticks out here? Is that just a single stick? Yes. What about, there we go. There's 30. Let's go make some bug nets. We're going to make some that are a little bit stronger. If you're interested in seeing the videos prior to them getting posted and cut, you know, to a shorter video on YouTube, you can always follow me on Twitch and come watch me here. We're going to give him some of this stuff so we get it out of our pockets. I need you to assess fossils for me, please. We got some of those. Can we just donate them? Make a donation, please. We need to sell some stuff. Let's shake these trees while we're at it because 
because I definitely want to get all the stuff. Did we need, did we buy this other thing? We didn't. Let's buy this too. Let's grab that. Let's go up here and shake all the trees up here. I need to focus on where I'm shaking the trees or I'm just going to be like doing things over and over again. Let's get these one. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Pine cone. I feel like up here would be a really good place for some of the villagers. Maybe we can put a villager like right here and then one up on the hillside like right behind it. I think that might be a really good spot to put a villager. What do you guys think? Where do you think would be a really good spot for a villager? Gotcha. Stink bug. There was this time that my kids did swim team, right? So we went to the pool and when we were at the pool, all of a sudden I started seeing this bug and I had never seen stink bugs before. And all of a sudden I see this bug and so I look it up on my phone to see like what kind of bug it is and it's a stink bug. Well, the reason I looked it up on my phone is because I saw more than one. I saw like three or four of them and it said that they come in like books and stuff. So there was a lady that had been sitting next to me that had been getting like books and stuff out. And another lady said, well, I think she got them from her garage. So maybe she had like a bunch of stink bugs in there or something. I'm not sure. But all of a sudden there was all these stink bugs everywhere. And it was just the grossest thing. It was disgusting. There was like a ton of stink bugs all over the place at the pool. It was disgusting. Well, and then I think, I feel like it was like the very next year that we had like an infestation of stink bugs, like everywhere. Everybody had them. They were just everywhere. You couldn't get rid of them. And I guess they have seasons. Like you might have a ton of stink bugs this year, but then they'll all die off. And then the next year, come on, I can't catch this thing. There we go. Then the next year you won't have any at all. So it's really kind of an odd thing, but I guess some years they're a lot heavier than other years. We got all these. Let's go over to the other hilltop and let's grab the stuff over there. What do you say? You gotta remember to do the Nook Mile stuff. Okay, I think I already shook these trees. We needed to go up here though. We didn't shake these trees up here. Do I hear a balloon? I feel like I hear a balloon. Do I hear a balloon? Maybe I'm just thinking I am. You can probably go sell some more stuff. Ooh, let's grab this rock though first. Did we do this rock? Yep, we did. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Now we're gonna have to make a shovel too. Okay, I swear I hear a balloon because I wanna catch the balloon, so I don't wanna miss a balloon. I feel like I'm like, oh, there it is. See, I knew I heard a balloon. When I was playing Animal Crossing, like back in 2020, when it came out, I did not know that all the DIYs came from the balloons. Like all the seasonal DIYs came out of the balloons. I had no idea. So I wasn't like really worried about the balloons. I mean, I would try to get them, but I didn't really go out of my way to get them. And then somebody told me, yeah, all this, all the seasonal DIYs come out of the balloons. You gotta get them. So now I do. I needed to make a shovel. So I shouldn't be coming over here. I can never remember what I'm doing in this game. And we'll use this. Let's go make a shovel. Let's Let's check our ABD while we're in here because we know we're going to get additional nook miles for it and we are on day five. 200 nook miles. See? What about, what is there? Is there anything we want to get? We probably want to get a nook mile ticket, don't you think? Ooh, let's get, let's get the pop hairstyle because I think that's where our hairstyle that I normally use comes from the pop hairstyles, I want to say. And then I can change my hairstyle. And then let's see. Huh? Okay. I see. This totally makes sense. I learned some pop hairstyles. I bet I could change my look up in a vanity or a mirror. Nothing interesting in there. All right, let's drop this stuff back down because we really need to go pick those pumpkins, right? Let's add this to this pile. The thing I like about Stardew Valley that, well, I guess Animal Crossing kind of does do it when you're in your home trying to put your storage away. So I guess it does, but it'd be nice if you could just click a button and add stuff and not have to like pick them up to add them. I have cat hair on my face now. Can't get it to go away. Yes, there is room. Just move over just a little bit and there will be room. So I kind of switch games pretty often. I don't always find the same game interesting. So it just depends on like what mood I'm in. I probably should put this on because we need to get some creatures also. Excuse me. I was thinking about doing a Zelda, like doing a Zelda playlist and playing Zelda before the new Zelda game comes out. I was thinking that'd be kind of cool. Just like refresh what the whole Zelda game is all about before the new one comes out. So I might do that like starting in the new year. I haven't decided yet. There are so many pumpkins. I don't even have room for all of them. 31,000. See, look at all those bells and I didn't even pick the whole thing. That is why I planted that huge field. I was definitely thinking about the best way to make money and I know that growing crops you can make a ton of money. I'm really curious to see what the next Animal Crossing
pricing is going to be compared to this one. This one has been so good. Like, I feel like they'd be really hard pressed to find something better. All right, let's sell these. Look at that. We got 99,000 bells. We're going to grab the rest of these pumpkins. We are almost with all of them. And then we're going to grab the apples because apples are also a really good way to make some money. I'm rich, especially in early game. That's like rich. But remember when we were playing early game, we didn't have the option of the pumpkins. You couldn't make like pumpkin patches and I don't know what, what are the other patches? Let's see. Pumpkins, tomatoes, potatoes. You couldn't do all that stuff. All you could do is fruit. So I was making like these humongous fruit orchards so that I'd get a bunch of money. But now you can make pumpkin patches and the other kind of patches and grow that kind of stuff and make even more money. Wheat, yeah. And sugar cane, right? I need to grow trees that are different from my island. I was so excited when I got this island because it had the cosmos because I love cosmos. Love, love, love them. I have not decided what kind of theme I want on this island. I don't know if I want a theme. I don't know. I kind of feel like I want to play just like the way that we played where you just decorate each villager's house what you think the villager would like and maybe not go for some crazy island theme. Who knows? Then when I get to that point, I might go for some crazy island theme. So what island themes do you guys think would be a good one for Daisy? Did we get this rock already, you guys? I do not remember. Let's try it again just in case. We did not. Yay! We got some more stuff. Well, we're bought out of room for apples. We'll just go shake them anyway. When we run out of room, we'll just go sell them. We need to go hunting. Okay, so what else do we need to do of our daily stuff? We've shaken our trees, right? Oh, I'm trying to pick them up and I know my pockets are full. So we've shaken our trees. We've gotten our money spot. We've picked up our DIY. Let's get this balloon. Oh, we need it. Maybe we can pay off our house. What about that? How about we pay off our house today? I gotta leave it because I don't have room for it. So let's go sell this and then we can pay off our house. Let's see if we got this one. There we go. When I played my first island, my girls would tell me about all these, these pictures of people with really cool things on their island. I don't know. I would make my own stuff with the island and I didn't want to look at anybody else's stuff because I just didn't want to get like persuaded by what they did. I just wanted it to be my own creation. Well, then one day I started looking at other people's stuff and was like, oh my gosh, how do they do all that? Then I got hooked on, on using path codes. That was like the downfall is using path codes because they're so cute. They're so adorable. It's like you see all these people with all these like super cute islands and you're like, geez, why didn't I think of that? I'm always sitting there saying, geez, why didn't I think of that? That's such a good idea. Let, let's go pay off our house before I forget. That way we can upgrade our house and we have a little bit more storage, right? Then I'll see what the Nook Mile Plus are so we can can get the Nook Mile Plus. I just remember when my girls first told me that they saw these really cool islands and I never saw the one they were talking about. I kind of wish now that I had looked, but they said they saw this one island where this guy made it so that you had to like jump across the water to get to his house. And my vision of it, I'm sure was completely different than what the actuality of it was, but they thought it was so cool. Hey, all right, we only owe 50,000 bells. Pay from pockets. Guys, why isn't it working? Pay from pockets, right? Yes. Yay, we paid off. We paid off our house. Let's go talk to Tom Nook. Yay, yay. I love that. Love paying off the house. Hello, Tom Nook. Well, hello there, darling. I must offer a hearty congratulations. You've paid off your loan in full. I expect nothing less, of course, but such a milestone is certainly cause for celebration, huh? I suppose they're also a good time to say to take stock and reflect. I'm sure your home is quite comfy in its current configuration. Ah, yes, one room is awesome. But what if it could be bigger? Ooh, I assure you that it can indeed be bigger. A bigger home means more space for furniture and more storage. That's what we need, storage. And now that I have introduced some possibilities, I will leave it at that. Do please come see me if you'd like to hear more. Of course, I'm going to come see you. Ah, darling. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. About my home. That's what I want to talk to you about. For your home, I think I'd recommend making a room larger. That would require taking out a small loan of only 198,000 bells. Interested? Yes, I am. Yes, let's do it. I got that pumpkin patch. We can pay it off. Wonderful. I'm so happy for you. I'm going to make sure construction begins right away. Oh, it occurs to me this might be a good time to consider a new color for your roof. Don't you think so? There are eight color options. What color did we make our roof this time? I don't remember what color we have. Could you please select a roof color from this list? What about, let's see what a different color is. Ooh, purple. Can we do purple? Is purple Yes, let's do purple. Purple to match our hat. Okay, you have a purple roof. Construction in your home should be finished tomorrow. I bet you're even more excited than I am. Yes, I'm very excited. All right, 
We got a new home. What could be even better except for maybe more rooms? So I want to save these pumpkins, right? Because I feel like I want to plant the pumpkins. But we're going to set them all down because we need to go see if we can find a villager. Draw all these items everywhere around here. We could probably sell that bagworm because I'm pretty sure we already donated one. And what does the rattan stool look like? Which one did we get? Ooh, we got a nice one. I like that one. That's my favorite rattan st school stool. We got an incense burner and dinnerware. We'll go ahead and place those down just so that way I know where they're at and what they are. Then we'll drop this. We'll drop that. We'll place that. Do I have room? I do not have room. We will place it right here so we remember to sell it. And let's grab our tickets and let's go villager hunting. Who likes villager hunting? We only have a few tickets so we won't be doing too much of it because I don't have very many nook miles this early. I am ready to get into the sky also. Time for takeoff. <gasps> Who is this? It's a hamster. I don't want a hamster. I don't like the hamsters. Do you guys like the hamsters? Who is it though? Is it... Oh, it's, it's, he has a kind of a cool house though. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to talk to him. I know what his name is. I just can't think what it is. Oh, <laughs> I keep hitting the button to talk to him and I keep jumping. Oh my goodness. Crazy game. All right. We're going to grab all this stuff. All right, you guys, who do we think is here? Who could it be? It's a bear. I think it's a bear. Who is it? Is it that bear that's like multicolored? I can't see. Is it Stitches? No. Who is this? Pudge. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Pudge. I'm visiting this island today. Pudge looks kind of grumpy. Has anybody had Pudge before? I don't know that I'm feeling the Pudge vibe. All right, you guys. It's this one. Oh, I got new fruit. Oh my gosh, you guys. I got oranges. Look at that. I got oranges. I'm going to have to get all these oranges. Okay. Who's... Oh, it's Ozzy. Oh my gosh. I love Ozzy. I love Ozzy so much. I don't know if I should take Ozzy though, but I love Ozzy. Ozzy is like my Animal Crossing pet. You know what I mean? Like, do you have an Animal Crossing pet that you just absolutely love? Like a villager that's just like, like, just the coolest villager. Like, just your best friend villager. Yeah, that's Ozzy. Ozzy is like my kitty cat of villagers. Like, in real life, when my kitty cats come around, I'm just like, I love them. Yeah, Ozzy's like my villager that I love. And every single time on every island I do, I get Ozzy on an island. That's so funny. I think we're going to take him. You know, I, I, I just think I can't help it. I think we're going to take Ozzy. You guys, I'm just an Ozzy lover. I absolutely love Ozzy. But here's the thing. I don't like Ozzy's real house. Ozzy's real house is terrible. It's terrible. But Ozzy in one of the houses we make for him is awesome. Ah, there's someone on this island. Yes, Ozzy. I'm Ozzy. I know you are. Yes, you want to come see me? No, Ozzy, don't go away. I know it has so much nature, but my island is so much neater than this. No, you don't want to stay here forever. It's real neat to live on an island like this. Fun time. I mean, just living life, pointing at nature. Want to come to mine? Huh? Your island is Daisy, right? Wait, that sounds familiar. Oh, I called about moving there. Sure you did. The island I want to live on is the island that you live on. That's some real weird fate. Real weird. Well, now I gotta move ASAP. I can't wait to hang out with you and Daisy, old bear. Let's sell this stuff. Hopefully we made, I bet we made more than 6,000 this time. But we're not gonna sell all of the oranges because we want to plant some of the oranges too. I'm guessing, I'm guessing we probably made closer to like 15 or 20,000. Okay, we need to keep that. I don't remember which ones we have and which ones we don't have. So let's just sell those. How much did we get? 26,000. Look at that. Wonderful. So let's go. Oh, where is our museum? I gotta remember where I put it. Down here. Hoo hoo. Make a donation, please. Okay, so we had two things. Good thing I didn't sell them because I wasn't sure which two things they were. Hang on, you guys. You know what? I think I sold the bluegill, didn't I? Thought I had two bluegills. Did I sell both of them? Uh oh. I think I made a mistake. Did I? Tilapia. Thought I had a bluegill. Oh no. I did. I sold the bluegill. Now I'm gonna have to go find another bluegill because it's gonna show that I got it, but I didn't give it to the museum. Let's go plant these trees and 
let's find out what we still need to donate. I think it was this one. Please submit specific. Check interior. I need to do a pot. So let me go grab a pot and then we will submit that. I don't know if I put it in my house or if I'm just gonna, you know what, let's just make a new pot because I've got plenty of clay. So let's just make a pot. Oh, I have a DIY out there. I forgot that I had a DIY pot. Let's do the pot. Alrighty, we are going to put the pot in that house and then we're going to plant our orchard. We need to also we need to get some of those um, sea creatures though too. And then I think we're done for the day. I think we've accomplished almost everything. So everything is now ready. Perfect. Let's go grab our bathing suit. Did we put it over here? I feel like we put it over here. Is that it? School jacket. Did we, is it in our stuff? No. Am I losing my mind, you guys? Where did I put my bathing suit? Is it back in my house? I didn't think I had put it in my house. I did. I sure did. All right, let's put our bathing suit on. Let's go get a couple of sea creatures. We will put this away. I think we just need three to be able to get the Nook Mile ticket. Not the Nook Mile ticket, but the Nook Mile Plus. You know what I mean? Oh, whoa. wait, wait, wait. There's one behind us. Oh, we got a pearl. Nice. We've gotten two pearls so far and no DIYs. We need to get some DIYs. Ooh, look at this one. We got a spotted garden eel. Very nice. I don't know if I've ever gotten a spotted garden eel before. Hey, there we go. We got a scallop. Yay! Awesome. I hope we get a DIY. Whoa, thanks for your generosity, man. What did we get? Did he give us something? The pearls you need for the recipe are rare, but you can sometimes find them on the ocean floor. I keep my eyes open. They say that yesterday is gone, but I can still see it on my calendar man. Consider yourself true. Yep, today is a good day. He's so funny. Oh, we just need to talk to our villagers. That's the only one that we didn't get, you guys. That's the only one we still need. Oh no, I need one more sea creature. Okay, we'll get one more sea creature. Executive producer. Nice. Because of all those pumpkins I picked. We got enough for another Nook Mile ticket. That was a doozy also. Wow, we got a lot. Look at all these, you guys. Seriously, there's so many. We are all the way up to 5,000. Okay, done with that. Wow, that was a lot. I didn't realize we had that many. We can get a couple of Nook Mile tickets with that. Hopefully this is a sea creature. It is. We got an acorn barnacle. That gives us the other one that we needed. And we just need to go talk to our three villagers and plant the orange trees and then we're done. See, we keep having other things that we forgot to do, but I forgot we had to talk to our villagers. So we will go do that right now. I wish you could swim a little bit faster. That would be nice. Where's our villagers at? Let's go find them. Oh, you know, we didn't say hi to Pinky. She's a panda. I didn't realize there was a pink panda. Oh no, she's sick. I can't believe it. I got floored by a little cold. I don't want you catching this, so you should keep your dist- Achoo. Okay. Oh no. Achoo. Ugh. This isn't fun anymore. I gotta get some medicine, but I don't think I can make it to the store. Okay. We're gonna have to get her some medicine. We could probably make her some. Oh, we got a DIY, you guys. Yay. Yes. What you up to? You're not gonna believe it. I made a spooky fence. No way. Yes. I definitely want a spooky fence. What do I say? Yes, I want to build it. Please teach me. Yep. Just give me the DIY. I will take it. I didn't realize we could get... Halloween ones from the villagers. We're gonna have to start making some of these spooky items. Let's learn the DIY. Spooky fence. Oh, we got a DIY, a mermaid one too. So let's learn that one. What'd we get? A mermaid shelf. Perfect. Do we have a shovel? Yes, we do. Let's go plant the orange trees. And we gotta find Pinky. She's in one of our houses. We also need to see what was in this little present that fell. Let's see what this is. Oh, Tree Bounty's little treat. We got lucky today. We got some good DIYs today. That's awesome. Grab this shell. Then we grab our shovel. So I have like this little pattern going with the trees and we're going to keep doing this little pattern. So we go back. Almost filled up the space. Not quite. And there. All right, guys. I think that is it. Thank you so much for joining me at Darling Games and I will see you again the next time. So have an awesome day. Bye.